prints. But when you type Python in the browser, you cannot run. Okay. It's it's like it has got a lot of hype, but the problem is the hype is not gonna work in a real scenario. When you create some application, you don't follow the hype. You follow the rules, some rules that this picking this programming language, picking this uh, framework can solve this particular problem. You don't go on the hype like okay. MongoDB is guys and in this particular video we will see can PyScript really replace JavaScript at all and if you don't know like what PyScript there is a link in the description section you can check that video and I want to summarize what is PyScript now actually you can run Python in the browser we in the Python developer really misses that uh, all in all the areas we can run Python whether it's machine learning data analytics data science or you can say backend development or IoT majorly uh, Python covers all of the you can say development parts but we were not able to run that particular programming language on the front end side as well so like the people from anaconda development team created something called name as PyScript. now you can using that particular library you can run python in the browser and uh, we need to understand main factors that uh, if PyScript can get so we can directly run into uh, so that it can directly remove javascript at all so the answer right now is totally no because uh, like if you compare javascript actually we can run all the javascript code in the browser and we cannot run that particular thing uh like we cannot run python in the browser if you like if you go to chrome if you go to edge if you can go to firefox mozilla any browser you can eventually run javascript at anyhow like you can type console.com it prints but when you type python in the browser you cannot run okay so the problem here over here i, I think you people can understand <clears throat> now one more thing like uh, actually to run python in the browser you need third party library and to run javascript you don't need any kind of third party library so what it does when you write some python code it actually like you can say convert all your python code into TypeScript or JavaScript using WebAssembly. Okay, so this is a problem. And uh, JavaScript has so evolved for the front end that uh, a lot of big companies or a lot of small companies are using JavaScript to bump their production code to, uh, to create some application. And all of the big companies uh, you see, or any average company or any low company, they all use JavaScript at any hour. So to create the front end logic to any view like and there are a lot of frameworks for javascript like react view angular which are dominating the entire front end world and the market share of react view and angular is quite very hard it's totally unpredictable but <clears throat> we need to think a lot like if we go to in the past and you can see we had a thing called deno which was uh, uh, created by the creator the same creator who has created node.js and what he said that it can, a lot of people said that it can totally replace node.js but now where it is now we don't understand so things comes and go but what sustain is the key okay so uh, a lot of uh, if we go compare one more thing in the past we had a flutter and uh, like a lot of people said that you cannot uh, it, it's not close to that native code when you run on android you cannot execute you cannot get the speed of flutter uh, if you compare it to java or you can say native code but now flutter is dominating and flutter has captured a lot of market share from android and uh, swift so like it's totally unpredictable in future it's totally unpredictable like what it's gonna dominate the front end what's it's gonna be dominate like back end and it's totally unpredictable so now from from my perspective like uh, uh, PyScript cannot replace JavaScript at all because to replace JavaScript it needs a lot of hard ecosystem. You you need some kind of framework. Only running Python in the browser will not is not gonna help you to replace JavaScript because JavaScript is so evolved, so evolved that you can Python PyScript cannot come close to this. So like if if modern browsers comes into the picture and they you can say. Um, like uh, when we when, uh, like we can execute javascript in the browser so if we can we are able to execute all the python code in the browser 
then PyScript can be a game changer. You can say any library comes into the picture, we can have that particular thing, and that can be a game changer. But now it's not a game changer. Uh, it's totally a library, and on the when you go to the GitHub repository, it also think they are in a like uh, you can say the tried and test out thing. You cannot rely on this particular thing right now, and it's also in an alpha release. So like you need to decide can it really it's it's like it has got a lot of hype but the problem is the hype is not gonna work in a real scenario when you create some application you don't follow the hype you follow the rules some rules that this we picking this programming language picking this uh, framework can solve this particular problem you don't go on the hype like okay mongodb is so in, in so much hype let's pick mongodb and create our application oh, okay and html is on so hype uh, we can use uh, JavaScript instead of HTML. I'm just saying an example. So you cannot then uh, rely on hype. You rely on the some rules that yes, this programming language and yes, this framework can solve this particular problem. So we are going to pick that particular thing. Okay, you need to understand this thing. Don't follow on the hype. You need to under ask question from yourself that being a developer, can you rely on a thing that is like um. If you create some back big application and you can you are not able to run uh, Python code in the browser if you need something and uh, that's not gonna solve because the speed is very slow. If we if I have also created some application, you can check that video. The speed of PyScript now is really really low, but uh, we cannot predict future. Anything can happen. Maybe a lot of like there are a lot of Python levels who can create some frameworks in just like. Uh, in a year or in a six month as uh, but it's it's like you you people need to adapt thing because we have already adapted javascript in so much way that we cannot go back to python easily we can actually go back but easily to go easily with python it's not really easy so these are the thoughts for me that uh, like you can pyscript and uh, javascript really replace it so I hope this is it for the video and uh, before ending this video, I have a very important information. If you want to become a full stack developer in just six months uh, and uh, Newton school is just for you. Like what's Newton school? Newton school is an e-learning platform where you can get full stack development training and the minimum placement they offer is 5 lakh LPA. That means you don't need to pay any amount until you get placement of 5 LPA in India. And you can see a lot of big companies hire from Newton School, and all these companies pay a lot of money to the person, <coughs> or to the to the employees. You can say, and the average package package is about seven LPA. Six hundred plus companies are hiring from Newton School. Ninety percent is a placement rate, rate, and twenty six LPA is the highest package. And uh, there is a link in the description section. You can check that particular link so that uh, you can get a better idea. So I hope this is it for the video and if you have any doubt do comment in the comment section I will try to help you out with the next video goodbye and thank you